Hello folks, this is Ayat Tiranjha from InspireToRise.com and today we are going to do a detailed hands-on review of the newly launched Samsung J5 Prime smartphone. So guys, let's begin. <laughs> Samsung Galaxy J5 Prime comes with a 5.5 inch full HD display and it comes with a full metal unibody design. The smartphone does feel premium in hand and on the left hand side we have the volume rocker for the smartphone. You get the SIM tray slot and the micro SD card slot. On the bottom we have the micro USB port, 3.5mm jack and the small hole for the microphone. And on the right hand side we have the power button as well as small grill for the speaker. It supports microSD expandable storage up to 256GB, it has a dedicated microSD card slot and the home button has a fingerprint scanner also. Inside the hood it comes with a 1.4GHz quad core processor and it comes with 2GB of RAM, 16GB of internal storage and 2400 mAh of battery on the smartphone. It comes with the accelerometer and proximity sensor but no gyroscope. It scored around 36,180 on the Antutu benchmark which is an average score. 59.3 frames per second on the Nina Mark 2 benchmark which is a good score. It comes with a 13 megapixel rear camera with f1.9 aperture, autofocus and LED flash and a front camera of 5 megapixel which has a f2.2 aperture. It has all of these modes and it also supports wide selfie, palm selfie, beauty face feature and all of those features. In my limited time with the camera, I found out that it was really great. The sharpness and depth in the images was really good. Color reproduction was accurate. The f1.9 aperture produced really great images and the shallow depth of field was definitely there. The selfie camera also was good, but not really that great. There was noise in the selfie camera images, but the primary camera was really great and something to boast about. Inside the hood, it comes with Android Marshmallow based operating system and TouchWiz UI on top of it light version of touch is on top of it it comes with great battery features like s power planning and s secure and you also get additional modes to hide your sensitive data there's also a nox based secure folder feature now let's just test the audio quality The audio was good, bass was lacking and the speaker placement is definitely very different. It comes in two colors as can be seen over here, golden and black. And when compared with the Galaxy J7 Prime, it's definitely a smaller smartphone, but still it does feel premium in hand. Buyers of the Samsung Galaxy J5 Prime on Vodafone network will get additional 9 GB of data when they recharge with data pack of 1 GB or above. And customers can avail this benefit for three recharges for three months. From the end of September, J5 Prime would be available for 14,790 and I consider it quite overpriced. So guys, this was it for this video. In case you liked this one, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. This is Ayatina Jha from InspireToRise.com. Signing off folks, stay inspired to rise.